A lot of people have been asking me as you go out and ride how to get back in and out of shore break. So it's a lot of fun going out and riding in these little fun ways, but sometimes to get out there, even though the waves are waist high to maybe chest high, that shore break can be kind of brutal. So I'm going to go over a few techniques that I've shown people to get in and out of the shore break so you can get out and have these fun long rides no matter if it's overhead or over your knees. The sport's definitely blowing up and it's a lot of fun so sometimes getting out there can be challenging. Obviously seeing a wave like this as you're standing on the shoreline, I wouldn't be too interested in going out in something like this. So we want to make sure that we sit and watch the waves. I think that's going to be the most important thing that you're going to be able to do is really watch what's going on. You're going to notice patterns. You're going to notice where the gap is. Or you're going to notice I'm really standing in the wrong spot. I need to move further down the beach or where there's a point where it's not breaking on the inside. Studying the waves is no problem at any kind of level. Anybody that's good, you'll see them watching the waves first to see where they're going on. One time I was in Jupiter and the shore break was pretty heavy like this. And some guy asked my wife, hey, what's he doing? And she said, he's trying to figure out how not to get crushed in this. And he's not going to go out until he figures it out. So be smart and kind of take a look at what's going on in your situation before you start heading out. I'm going to give you some tips on some things that I think are a good way to go out and about this. Make sure as you're going to get ready to head out that all your gear is set up. You have your leash on properly, whatever kind of leash you use for your wing, for your board. Everything's set up and ready to go because once you enter the water, sometimes it's a little hard to adjust or turn back and get things readjusted. And always make sure your gear is nice and tight with those fins and on all those front wings. So when you're going to go enter, you'll notice that I like to enter the water with my wing downwind of me and my board upwind of me on its side. Why on its side? As the waves push by, I can lean down on it. Right now you can see the wave is not even above my waist, but as it comes through, it could go above my waist or come towards my chest. And if I lean down with the board sideways, I can actually float with that board up in my armpit and stabilize myself until it goes by. Having the wing going downwind prevents me from getting my wing caught up in my foil. I can also let go of it if I need to and get both hands on my foil board to control it as I try to make my way out or to come back. There's no problem with having to come back in if you've made a mistake going out in a situation you can't handle. So as you get ready to go out, make sure that you're set up and you'll see that I'm grabbing that front handle. It gives me a little more power and makes the wing state a little bit powered up. So in those waves, when there's the fluctuation of the air coming back and forth, you can stabilize it. Hold it from the very front handle is going to make it floppy and make you want to pay attention to your wing as you're going in. So let's take a look at going in one time all the way through and let's see what happens here as I make my way in. Again, it's always good to double check making sure that all your stuff is the bolts and everything are nice and secure. Um, kind of have an idea where you're going to walk in at, especially if there's people around and what's going on. And as you start to get closer and closer, you can make sure that you're putting yourself in the right position for the waves. I usually go a little bit in and then I'll stop and have a look around to kind of see what's going on. Am I making the right call on the timing of the waves? Am I in a good spot? Should I be a little bit further down the beach? Where exactly is it breaking at? I'm looking for this white water to tell me. Now, if it was really big, it'd be slamming and breaking in. And sometimes you got to make the decision that this isn't a place you're going to be in. But this is breaking off of my waist. I can see that it's a little bit further out, so I'm going to let it come by. And then I'm going to now start making my way out, because I can see the next one coming, but I know I can make my way through, or I can kind of float over it if I have to. 
see how the board is starting to hit my arm. There we go, it's floating. Now I'm starting to get some deeper water. I'm gonna put it down. Now I'm gonna get on my board. I'm gonna let go of the wing and I'm gonna actually paddle out until I feel safe and secure to do my startup. Here's another look at kind of going in and just getting through the shore break, letting it help me float and then paddling out so I can get in a position where I feel comfortable. Now, coming back in works the same way. You want to come back in, but not too close. That way you can paddle a little bit, get everything under control, and time the waves. You can lay on your board and just get yourself adjusted. Same thing, wing downwind. And as you get into the waves they're moving, keep looking behind you, get that board up on its side, grab onto it, and it'll help push you through. Here's one more look at that. Coming in, stop a little early, and then paddle until you're starting to get into the waves. Make sure you don't have any big ones coming behind you. Always be aware of what's going on behind you. Get that board up on the side as soon as you can feel you touch bottom. That way it'll just push you and float you through, and you can make your way in. I hope this helps a little bit with your entering into the shore break and returning in it. Again, if your stomach tells you, your gut tells you that something's not right, it isn't. Get help, figure it out, ask somebody, have a lot of questions. Because at the end of the day, this sport can be amazing and you can get some great rides out in the waves. Be safe and make sure you're wearing a helmet if you're a beginner.